Any updates, Commander? Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company, Grogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. I don't like the sound of this. The Krogan would have come prepared to fight. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. Just be ready for anything. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? Relieved of duty. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? Heh, <sighs> wasn't easy. When Reeve put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal, and being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Eh, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Rachni have nests? <laughs> Our luck company! Move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. All right, let's get going. Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way! ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grunt. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that passage. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Krogan! Get ready! <clears throat> what is that? Grunt, we've located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard. Move it! Damn it! Shepard, the Rock and I are backing off. Whatever spooked them won't last. Finish the job. 
Copy that. did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. I let you go back in Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. We kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of sour notes drowned us out. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. The children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reavers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's a mess. She needs too much time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our lead company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Our lack company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team! On my way! Shepard! That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard!
Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? I'm reviewing a report on the Rachni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Shepard, your report says you made a deal with the Rachni. You were sent to destroy them. I don't answer to you, Reeve. You were happy to hand this over to me so you don't get to whine about the results. You dare. This discussion is done. Now what else do you want? We have long memories, Shepard. The deaths of so many Krogan to save this abomination. It will be remembered. Understood. Let's hope the matter is finished now. Heard the tank bread speaker is recovering. Good. He's needed on the front lines. So it took a Krogan to get you out of there. A real Krogan. Yes. I should return to my duties now. You do that. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Without that beacon's warning, the Citadel species would have been taken by surprise. Right. So any other Prothean artifact on Eden Prime could be just as important. And this time, you'll be here to help with whatever we find. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. That doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? Cerberus has recovered a Prothean corpse? No. Cerberus found a living Prothean. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. The Protheans had powerful stasis technology. That's the only reason any of their artifacts survived intact. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. I'm afraid most of what's known about Protheans comes from inference. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. By galactic community, you are suggesting that Protheans had a structure similar to the modern council. Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. 
I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are! return to dark space then we will rise a million strong for the empire for the empire get to your stasis pod victory broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods and the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean Beacon. You had a vision of the Reapers last time you were here on Eden Prime. It must attune your mind to understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. take him some time to fully regain consciousness.
Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, not to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Synthetic. This is not a good beginning. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. 
The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the Crucible. We've started building it. Crucible? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the Crucible? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation, the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? 
I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. Is there anything more you can tell us about the Crucible? Only the stories we heard. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. 
I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchaka's atmosphere. Problematic. Cowards! They're afraid to take us head on! Kramark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Reeve, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? If you want our help, you'd better be. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Reeve believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. I've spoken with the other clans. They're gathering on our secret meeting ground at the Hollows. We'll rendezvous there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. After today, Krogan's superiority will be obvious to everyone. Rare opportunity to improve galactic opinion of Krogan. Hope you use it wisely. Commander, you seem troubled. There's just a lot on the line. I want this to go well. Have faith. <clears throat> no matter the adversity we face, some moments are destined to happen. This is one of them. Then the galaxy will have a new power to reckon with. Reeve, it struck out the rack. The Reapers are attacking the Hollows. Be ready for a fight! Hang on tight. We're heading in. Protect our flight. I'll go pull the other clans out of the fire. Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move! And so it begins. History will show that Clan Erdnot drew first Reaper blood. 
No time for bragging. The airstrike is on the way. Female safe, Shepard. Recommend haste, however. Vital signs troubling. Who let the Salarian onto Tachanka? They aren't welcome here. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Who are you? Jorgal Thorak. Our clan stretches back as long as there have been Krogan. Unlike these Erdnok whelps. <sighs> I own Varen, who are older than any of them. <laughs> Which just means you've been around too long, Tarak. You're weak and tired. And wise enough to know Salarians can't be trusted. The Salarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the Genophage. You didn't see what his kind did to our people. You weren't there, human. There will be a reckoning for the Genophage, Tarak. But not until I say so. <laughs> Enough! You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will the rest of you. <laughs> about avenging the genophage, Reeve. <coughs> it would be a disaster for our people. Our people were made for war. It's what they want. And you need to be the leader who tells them they're wrong. Krogan already spread war across galaxy before. Genophage was result. Must learn from that. Otherwise, we'll share fate of ancestors. And would our ancestors forgive their enemies so easily? You'll be caught in a vicious cycle if you try to avenge the genophage. As long as the rest of the galaxy thinks we want revenge, we'll have power. They'll fear us, the way Krogan were meant to be feared. Isn't that why you destroyed Malin's research, Shepard? But what do you really intend to do, Reeve? <laughs> that would be telling. There's that look in your eye again, Commander. What's troubling you? Just thinking about Earth. Your courage for my people will be remembered. <coughs> you won't be alone in your fight. Why are we stopping? Reeve, you and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Hurry it up. What's the holdup? Road's out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper Battle is over here. <laughs> isn't enough against the Reaper. We must join the fight. Damn it. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We're going. Shepard! I've lost control. I can't pull up. to be 
be more than just the ones we killed. Reeve, we've got Rachna here. Keep an eye out. I know, we're seeing them too. But all that matters is getting to that shroud. Move it. Reeve, we made it back outside. If you can see the radioactive haze, you're making progress. And the color green. I thought plants were extinct around here. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, get in the truck. The rack, watch her back. That treasure maw is still out there. Make it fast, Reeve. We're in the open here. Move it! Your Krogan friend may still be alive. The Rack was no friend. Now, let's get moving. We got a Reaper to deal with. We don't have a plan for this. Vengeance is the goal. Suicide is not. We're not leaving here until the genophage is cured. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It's not mine, it's hers. Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper, draw it from power while cure synthesized, released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say <laughs> she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. Every living thing on this planet knows how to kill, and kill well. Her more than most. Well, after everything we've been through, why not? It's just a Thresher Maw. I didn't think a human could have that kind of courage. How would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Maw Hammers there. <laughs> the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing Cure. We know why we're here and what's at stake. So let's make it happen. Shepard! Just remember whose side you're on. I can handle them. Go! <laughs> ah! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have Cure ready. Commander, this is Arthur McQueen. We'll try to get ready for something else to shoot. Go! Be with them. Go! Let's push ahead! Go! We'll get back to the truck. I'll take care of the Cure.
Morton, is the cure ready? Yes. Loaded for dispersal in two minutes. But E, dead. What happened? Stress sampling. Too intense. Too much trauma. Wanted to stop. She refused. Her decision. She did it for her people. The female was stabilizing force for Krogan. Implications of Reeve as lone Krogan leader. Problematic. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Readings at lab suggest temperature malfunction. Could affect cure viability. Need to adjust settings manually. It's too dangerous, Morton. We need to get out of here. No. Temperature variants could destroy cure. Time running out. Have to go up. Morton. You're not going up. Not concerned for my safety. Concerned I might discover something. Sabotage? But whose? Ah. Uh, why, Shepard? That desperate for Salarian aid? Or that afraid of Krogan? Every time we've talked about this before, you've defended the Genophage. Hell, you destroyed Malin's data. How can you change your mind now? I made a mistake! I made a mistake. Focused on big picture. Big picture made of little pictures. Too many variables. Can't stop now. Gone too far. Eve dead. Krogan deserve a cure. I agree, Morton. But not now. If not now, when? Someday. But when we stop the Reapers, this whole galaxy will need time to recover. Reeve won't give us that time. He'll attack while the rest of us are weak. Eve would have stopped him. Eve isn't here. No. Suggest we let Krogan believe dispersal was a success. Ensure alliance. We'll need to disappear to keep story accurate. Reeve will think I died at tower. Curing Jennifer. Doing what had to be done. We'll also inform the Dalatras of the deception. Good. Here are the coordinates for the Crucible Project. We can use your help building it. Thank you, Shepard. Too eager to atone. Would have compounded error. Glad you were here. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Void, we commit her body. In life, this Krogan faced our greatest enemy with rare valor. In death, she has proven a savior to her people. May her courage fan the flames of hope for the future. She is now the true mother of T'Challa.
She died because of a decision I made. Malin's research might have saved her. Death is no stranger to Tachanka. She fulfilled her purpose. It was a shame about the Pijak, though. Morden. You mean up on the tower? For someone who wasn't Krogan, you showed surprising courage. But history can't show a Solarian curing the Genophage. Then who did? The only Krogan who was left standing. I may end up being more famous than you, Shepard. No matter. You lived up to your word, now I'll do the same. Tell the Turians we're more than happy to come show them how to win a war. The Krogan already killed one Reaper, didn't we? Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Reeve has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. And the Solarians? How did you manage to get them on board? Careful diplomacy. Uh huh. I don't think I want to know what that means. Though I bet it has something to do with the Solarian scientist who just showed up at our door. He's so full of ideas about the Crucible, nobody can shut him up. No comment, sir. I'll take your word on that. You're starting to put together a real alliance out there. Good work, Commander. Pack it out. Commander, heard not Reeve has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know.
It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of all the lives it took to get us here. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? There's a lot of people back on Earth dying while we gather our strength. They're wondering if we're ever coming back. Friends, family, parents and children. This isn't their fight, but they're buying us time with their lives. You'll spend it wisely. I'd better. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. She called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander, I understand the people of Palavin have a new hero. More like a couple million heroes, Counselor. I just got them motivated. Yes, I've spoken to Dalatros Linron. She says you've displayed remarkable foresight. It is thus, with a little hesitation, that I bring you the bad news regarding humanity's counselor, Donald Udina. He's been using his authority to move money, lots of it, and not to support the Alliance. I don't like the sound of that. Yes, as they say in the Hollows, this goes up to the top, but it also goes down to the bottom. Come see me next time you're on the Citadel. Ishil out. <laughs>